The Fumbled Anthology presents Bleak Prospect, a Call of Cthulhu scenario written by Scott Dorwood, featuring Alex Green as Carl Rothstein, Danielle Green as Margot Frain, and Liam Braid as the Keeper of Arcane Law and everyone else you may hear in this scenario. Part 2. Are you from Hooverville? Look, go into town, report to the police, and then come straight back. If you do not, if you're not back by this afternoon, I will call the police myself and tell them what's happened. Oh, very well, yes. Of course, we I don't. Thank you so much for your help, Ida. We, we and you know what? If we don't come back, it's going to be Carl's fault. I just want you to know. It wouldn't be mine. <laughs> All right. All right, now so, get out of here. <laughs> we've got a car. <laughs> Thank okay. you so much. Oh, my God. She's such a godsend. Oh, she's so lovely. <laughs> oh, I don't yeah. know how that oh. happened, but you've got a car. All right, we've got a car. So uh... Look at this. Ring. Oh, it's the shape of a woman. Oh, it's very risque. I um, knew I had my hopes better. Would you now. like to drive? Since you are so clever. I am very good at driving. Uh, well, actually, I haven't done it in a while. But it's... Where are you going to drive to? We're going to drive Well, to... we better drive to Crawley because yeah. she wants us to go in that direction. She'll probably go tell the police. Uh, and, yeah, we could always She's talk to the police. Then we don't have to lie to Ida when we, when mm. we say that we went that way and yeah. told police. Because mm-hmm. um, that was the one condition, and then what we do after that? Well, we'll see. We'll see what the police. All right, let's say. let's let's make use of your drive skill. Let's see if you hit any potholes along the way. Drive uh, my 50. drive skill is fifty. Ooh. It's a it's seventy six. Um, it. I'm not going to push it. I think we'll hit a few potholes. It makes <laughs> it makes absolute sense because she hasn't driven. It. Okay. Yeah, you, hit, you hit a couple potholes. Um, it's you, 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 as you turn a corner, you might scratch a curb or something. You know, <laughs> shit happens. Shit happens. Yeah. Oh, uh, I so, yeah. You, you go and oh, you go into cra- you go into Crawley. It's a small town of about fifteen thousand people, but there's a bit of everything there. There's a small hospital. There's a there's a police station, a library. A, there's Is the, the newspaper. Crawley. Uh, well, as far as you know, the doctors. Somewhere in Crawley. He, Probably he, update he, him on he, uh, the. Uh, you know that he usually goes to the hospital to get the supplies. Mm. Well, we should go to the police station first and report to the missing child. Yes, yeah, so I'll tell mm. them about the masked men. Maybe they'll take us seriously for once. Oh, maybe. Mm. We'll wait and see. Uh, so yeah, the police station is like a freestanding two story building. Um, and you walk in the front and. Hope they have a rat. Eight. <laughs> there's no ramp. Oh no, it's just no ramp. Oh, oh, it and, gets up the steps. Oh, and there's a desk sergeant on duty at the front desk. Uh, his his badge says Eamon McCool, Sergeant Eamon McCool. Eamon McCool. What's a cool name? Now, Carl, <laughs> I just want to point out: mm. don't talk about how ableist it is that they only have stairs. Okay, we're here for my daughter. What is ableist? <laughs> Uh, so many new terms. I'm excuse discovering. me, Mister M- McCool, is it? Uh, yeah, yes, yeah. Oh, constable. Uh, yes. Apologies, uh, Sergeant. Sergeant, thank you, Sergeant. Uh, oh. How can I help sorry. you, ma'am? How can I help you, ma'am? I'm so sorry. Um, look, we're on the hunt for my daughter Esther. I, you may have seen her around town every now and then. She's she's 12 years old, and she was last seen with a boy called Billy. Uh, they seem to have been taken overnight um, uh, by some masked men who came to our little camp. I, you may have heard of it. It's it's Hooverville. Um, we uh, Hooverville, did you say? Yes. Uh, please don't oh, judge I, me. I, I, I can't help you. Please, please, please I, I can't help you. Oh, please, oh, please. We we need we need some assistance. We 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 nearly stole gas to get here. Uh, we didn't. We didn't. Uh, uh, your, 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 da- your daughter is it? Yes, my daughter, yes. What, what's your daughter's name? Esther, I, I did say. And what's your name? It's Margot. 
train. Uh, when did she go missing? Well, she was last seen around 2 a.m. last night. That seems to be when the, 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 mm. the masked mm. men came to help. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. Thank you. Uh, oh, okay. And you, know, and you notice that he doesn't write any of this down. Uh, th- thank you, officer. Okay, um, Carl. Carl, going to help us. Well, Carl, I feel like you need to step in here. You're you're being a bit useless right now. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, uh, Carl, uh, Sergeant, Sergeant. You might take a man's word a bit. I hope you understand the severity of the situation. You see, um, I don't know if you understand, but this this woman is very very rich and she has a lot of money, and um, and if you help her, not if you're from Hooverville, she doesn't. Oh no no no! It's, it's, she's got she's got cash. She's got cash, and I hear there's a big cash reward if you manage to find this lady. Um, maybe I, would that be of assistance to you? Uh, charm or maybe. Persuade. Uh, ooh, uh, my persuade is a thirty-five, so that's probably my best bet. Um, oh, it's an eighty-seven. I'm probably not going to push that. <sighs> He's like, I'll, I'll look into it. Um, please move on. I don't think she's going to look into it. Uh, useless as always, Carl. So okay. useless. Um, thank you, officer, for nothing. Let's go. Um, hmm. ah, stupid police. They never help. The police in Germany, they would have been on this very, very quickly. You know that? Mm. Very quickly indeed. Even oh. British police have higher hopes. No. Oh. Americans, it's useless. Okay. Ah! What would you like to do? I feel like we need to track down the doctor, let him know about our little friend in, in Hooverville, and maybe on the way we can see anyone who might know something about masked men. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. Let's go find the doctor. Maybe maybe they might know a little bit about it, yes. Because uh, he hasn't been seen in, in a day as well. Maybe he saw something. That's not a bad idea. Unless he's been taken too, oh, which would be very oh. perilous for the town. Oh, that would be terrible. Okay. Uh, how about I drive to the doctor? Uh, yes, I, I think that might be a good idea. I didn't mm. do such a great yes, job last yes. time. Okay. Um, so I will drive us to the hospital. Okay. So the hospital is just around the corner on a different street. Um, and in the car park, you do notice uh, Dr. Combs is car thank goodness okay. all right uh we're okay so i guess is there anything unusual about the car does it look like it's been is a little different to what it normally looks like no no it's oh, just okay. park, park i think he's there. inside maybe we should go in and and see if we can find him yes that's not a bad idea but let's 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 us go together hello um it's Dr. You actually, Coombs yeah, in. Give me a luck roll. Oh, bloody luck. You know, I've been told I'm not very lucky. I guess the hula hoops would do not wear 55. That's a, that's a fail. You want to have a crack? No, so you, I you know, you also, know, can I also roll? Yeah, you can also roll. Nope. It's a 60. 60. Yeah, oh, no, no. You don't, you don't bum him to him. Uh. Um, yeah, so you go in and the, there's a... Nurse on duty at the reception. Hi, uh, my name is Carl. I'm looking for my friend, Dr. Coombs. Uh, we have to ask him some questions. Uh, there's a bit of a situation down at... The... Did, did you say Dr. Coombs? Yeah, yeah, Dr. Coombs, yeah. He hasn't worked here in years. Oh, that's strange. Intriguing. His car is outside. He, 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 he's, he's a resident. He, he's one of those, uh, I don't know, hobos out at Hooverville now. Oh no, he's not a hobo. No, he is a very distinguished medical doctor. To be honest, he's 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 the only thing we've got. No, it's a medical doctor. Okay. Oh, you're from um, Hooverville too? No, no. Uh, we know of Doctor. Okay, we know. Him. Is he Mister Coombs now? Is he around? Do you have you seen him? Well, he hasn't worked here in in year, years. Yeah, yeah. He he may not be working, but he may be present unless he's out the back. He might be out the back, yeah. I, I haven't seen him since he lost his job years ago. Thank oh. you for your help, okay. Did uh, you say you were from Hooverville? No, 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 we are not from Hooverville, no, no, no. I'm a... I don't, how dare you assume I'm a I'm... distinguished how university you... professor. How about you guys give me a... 
Uh, is this my etiquette roll? <laughs> oh, give us the etiquette roll. She's got uh, really good etiquette. For what, for what reason? <laughs> because my etiquette shows that I'm a socialite. Look at the way she's walking. Look she's... at the way I'm walking and walking. Honestly, to assume that I'm from a hobo, you were just looking at my clothes and making assumptions. All I can tell you is Dr. Coombs hasn't worked here for years, uh, as you know, or as you may should know, Dr. Cabinus is in charge now, um, but no, there's no Dr. Coombs here, you'll you'll have to... That's totally fine, so sorry for the mix-up. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, that's, 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 let's ask all that. Give me, a, give, me a, give me a spot hidden. Sure, uh, spot hidden is 45... And that is a 31, so I succeeded. You, you notice her pressing a, a button under the desk. <laughs> <laughs> in, in we should, we should probably go quickly. Okay. We should probably leave now. Yes, bye! Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Um, all right. We're going to go around the back to the uh, garbage, where the garbage disposal is, and try and find Dr. Coombs Is Dr. There. Coombs digging through the rubbish? <laughs> um, so, yeah, you go around the back. And yeah, there's there's like the back sort of loading dock area. Um, hmm. So it appears to be no one's there. Can I do a spot in to see if there's any any sign of him or anything that might make sure that he's okay? Uh, no, there's just a there's just a door to the sort of the back starve area. Okay. Well, I don't think he's here. I think maybe he's preoccupied with something we should probably leave i have a feeling she was calling security mm, yes i agree we should probably get out of here really quickly uh um yep yeah, where's all right so uh where, to, where should we go uh, i think i think the only place left is we give the car back to to either um or we could keep driving in that direction I uh, say we go out towards the estates. I don't think we should need to give either her car back yet she wanted it by the i'll afternoon. throw i'll throw you a bone uh, Please. Doc, Dr. Cavendish uh, comes out the back door <sighs> and he's like, oh, oh uh, uh, hello, can I help you? Oh, hi. Uh, what, are you, I, what, 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 what are you doing back here? Uh, hi, so sorry. Um, We're looking for a friend. Uh, we don't want to bother you. Have you heard of any sloughing strange illnesses where skin just uh, melts away? Uh, and then he, he has a look of sudden like, oh. He does. It does look like he knows what he's talking about. And he's like, "You're from Hooverville, aren't you?" Uh, no. We've passed through Hooverville at a time. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, we passed through. Yes. yes. We are. We are travelers. Are, are you friends with Doctor Coombs? We we know of him. Do you know where he is? Uh, give me a psychology roll. All right. My psychology is forty. Oh, that's a ninety-eight. That's a fumble. <laughs> <laughs> what about what about you, Margo? I think I've only got ten percent. So, so it's, you got a ten, yeah. Oh, that's a that's a fourteen. You could spend you could spend luck, but I I don't know if you should. I don't. Yeah, I don't think I should waste my very very unlucky self. Yeah. Um, especially not that I've fumbled. Yeah, <laughs> we are just going to have fumbled that. <laughs> Um, okay, so, uh, he's like, hang on a moment, and he goes back and opens the door, and he yells inside, he's like, they're out here! Oh! <laughs> I think we should go! And then, and then you, you see two big burly orderlies come out the door, and like, they're like, hey, wait, wait, what are you doing? Get out of here! Oh, we sorry, we were just leaving! Oh, honestly, this town is so unkind! Oh dear. How can you hobble any faster? I'm honestly? hobbling as fast as I can. You are the worst oh. travelling companion. Oh. Do we make it to our car or not? Uh, uh, yeah, you uh, give me dexterity rolls. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, okay, well, my dexterity is 50. Mine's 50. Oh, yeah. And that's a 96, so that's not it. I've failed that. Well, Carl, you aren't very dexterous. <laughs> Does 96 a fumble too? No, my my strength, no, my dexterity is 50, so I think I needed a okay. uh, 100. And my, I just rolled a, what is it, 30? 33, that's a success. So you get back, but I don't. Well, can I get back and, like, drag him? 
<laughs> I'll let I've you get back to the car. I'll let you get back to the car, yeah. I'll let okay, you get back, back to the car. To the car. In, and what I'll say is the, the orderly stop chasing you. It's not as if they want to apprehend you. They just don't want you in the hospital. Okay, sure. Um, well, yeah, we're getting out of here. But as you get back there, there's someone there waiting for you. Oh. <gasps> it, it's, he, he says, uh, are, you guys, are you guys from Hooverville? Oh, God, oh, every time we tell him the truth, they always chase us out. <laughs> I don't want to tell him the truth. What is it to you? He's like, no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm. Uh, uh, I'm trying to work with you, not against you. Oh, okay. Who are you? I, I, I I'm Reggie. Uh, in fact, I was a student of yours. Uh, uh, professor. Okay. Can I do a roll to see if I remember the student? Uh. Give me a. I don't know what would it be. Intelligence, maybe. Intelligence. See if you can remember. Is this seventy? I feel like maybe I remember it. Twenty-five. Yeah, I remember. Richie, hi. Hello, I remember you. Yes, it's. It's been so long. How have you been? How have your studies going? Are you still doing the sciences? He's like, Professor. I, I don't know where you've been these last few years, but. There's something going on. I, I, I need help, okay? Oh, I do like a mystery. Uh, what's going on? How can I help? Give me a sec to just read your backstory again. Uh, Carl, uh, Carl did invest in hula hoops. I did invest oh, in Oh, yes. No, no, the small backstory that you did. Oh. <laughs> that's okay. Oh. Um, he's like, uh, you used to work with uh, Professor Hawks, didn't you? Oh, yes, Professor Hawks. Oh, he was... He was my closest professor friend. Uh, not a real friend, but a professor friend, yes. We worked on a lot of things together, yes. I, I do remember him. I remember what happened. It was very sad and mysterious. Or oh, he disappeared, much like much like your daughter had. So very sad. Um, wow, what, have you heard any news about him? What's going on? Uh, maybe we should go talk somewhere a bit more uh, discreet. Oh. Do you know anywhere that we can go that we won't be chased out of? Uh, you could probably find like a back alley or head back to Hooverville or something. Well, I guess we find the back alley. I don't know if we should be driving. We just find a back alley. I would just find a back alley somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Right. Can um, we talk yeah. in the car? Oh yeah, can we go? On, can we talk in the car? Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, so you get in the car and he's like, uh, uh, Pro- Professor Rustin. Um, what do you remember happening to Professor Hawks? Oh, I remember he was looking to something very mysterious. Um, he used to live in a set in Crawley and he was looking into some... Uh, I believe he was looking into... Oh, he was looking into uh, looking into alternate dimensions. Yeah, I was very much into like multiverse and, and time travel and different dimensions and all that sort of stuff. All that sort of thing. It's very, very advanced physics. Very advanced stuff. Sounds like nonsense to me. No, of course it would. Everything sounds like nonsense to you. Yes. Your brain is not there. Ah, uh, uh, yes, I remember. Uh, what's, uh, what, what's about it? Did he... I, I don't. It sounds like you don't know this part, but I, I, I used to work with him regarding this uh, theory about other dimensions. And you, do you know? Do you know Theodore Sedwick? I'm going to roll intelligence to see if I know this person. 76. No, I do, I do not know him. Uh, who is this person? Well, surely, surely you must. He's he, 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 he's one of... He seems to have averted and surpassed all challenges of this Great Depression. He's he's, he's pretty much in charge of Crawley, which is, what, oh. which is why I think you might have been chased out of the hospital just then. Oh, so is that... Okay, so he, he he's he he's he's in control of the police. He's in control of the hospital. He's in Ooh. control of the newspaper. He he, he he pretty much runs this town now. Oh 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 goodness! Ah, that is that is very distressing. Um, I don't understand what this has to do with Professor Hawks. Oh, oh so, sorry. So, uh, me Theodore and Professor Hawks, we were working on this. Um, we were, we we're working on this this device. Um, to like. Uh, make contact with another dimension and 
th- there was an accident, and it, the, the, we, we, it worked, but it swallowed Professor Hawks inside, and that was years ago, and that's why he's been missing. This device oh. to another dimension uh, took Professor Hawks, and in that other dimension, there was all sorts of uh, frightening and monstrous creatures, and, oh. and and then when Professor Hawks disappeared, uh, Mr. Sedwick took over, uh, and he started experimenting on me and, and a few other people and that's oh. why the people have gone missing and look, I, look, I know that all sounds crazy but I need your help, I need your help Reggie, oh. Reggie does anything that you've seen have you seen any masked men involved? well, I I think I think the masked men are like he's a uh, he's henchmen yeah, I just think so. oh. I could have told you that. So you got to keep up. Uh, Apologies. Oh, okay. So, oh, so you think that uh, Theodore's behind this? Oh, well, uh, that is definitely alarming, and I could see why the police aren't interested in. What in would our they search. have to do with? What do you know? Why they would need people and residents from Hooverville? Well, I guess it's because we would we would not notice if we went missing. You but know? why do they need people? Are they experimenting what, on my daughter? What kind of experiments did they do on you, Richie? Oh, I... Your daughter's missing? Yes. Oh, oh no, oh no, She was no, taken no. last night and we're trying so, our best to find her. So, during that. our experiments and discovering this alternate dimension, uh, we found certain uh, specimens as you say, and, uh, well, I don't know how it works, but if you put this specimen inside a person, it can sort of steal their, like, life essence, in a way, and if you put it in another person, it can give that person the life essence that they stole. I don't really know how it works, but, but I think if your daughter is missing that, I think Theodore's taken him, taken her. Oh. If he steals her life essence, I'll be so. Mad. I've, I've been trying to tell the newspapers this for for months, and and, and but but they they call, just call me crazy and chase me out of there. Oh my goodness! Okay, uh, so the newspapers aren't helping. The police aren't helping. Um, what else have you tried? Have you tried uh, going to the army, the FBI, maybe going above the person who's in charge of Crawley? Maybe they... I'm telling you, Theodore is in charge of the town. No one will listen to me. Oh. Okay, um, okay, well, I think what we need is we need some evidence and then we need to go to the authorities on this because this is a very serious matter. I think we should be avoiding the authorities. Mr. Sedwick is the authority now. Correct, I think we should... I mean, he's not the president of the United States, is he not? Can we not investigate this ourselves, Carl? Can we not go with Young? Is it Reggie or Richie? I'm very confused. Well, we can Reggie. Go. <laughs> Reggie. <laughs> You call him Richie, and I, is that a problem? Oh, that was what his name, yeah, that's okay. what I called him. He's... Reggie, darling, should we, let's, let's investigate this together. I think three minds are better than... Oh, than no, two. no, I, I, there's no way I'm going back to that house. Oh, I'm not going house? back to that house. Okay. okay, tell us about the house. I need to find my daughter before this life essence thing. The, the, the experiments, they all happened at uh, Professor Hawks's house, you know, Prospect House. Oh, yes, oh, yes, I know the house quite well, yes, we can... I know exactly where it is. We can drive there today. We need to go there because if they have my daughter, I want to know immediately. You have been a well, great. Uh, well, you can go there all you like, but I'm not going back there. That's you, okay. You don't know what horrors could might be there. Like, well, you have been a great help, and I appreciate your assistance. And if and look, if we need anything, we will come back. Is that a Reggie, darling? If you need any help, there's a lady called Nancy in uh, Hooverville. She's got half a bottle of vodka. You might need to share it. Uh, uh, You're welcome, honey. You're welcome. Okay, let's go. And then he just gets out of the car and sort of runs off. <laughs> well, that was a strange. He's a strange man, isn't he? He never got very far with his studies. I don't know what Professor Hawk saw in him. Uh, but Sounds anyway, like he knew more than you, my darling. Uh, well, that's be very difficult. I know a lot about physics, but I, I didn't do mentions. My my physics is more, um, you know, applied physics, more uh, lots theoretical, like Hawks. I wouldn't know mm. the difference. No, 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 of course you wouldn't. No. Uh, so, uh, uh, shall we go to? The, we should go to the uh, prospect estate. Absolutely. State. Yes. Um, you can before go. before we go on with that, I'll say: Do either of you believe this story? Ooh. I believe that this is where my daughter might be. I don't know if I believe 
the ins and outs of the story, but I know that yeah, this is I the don't... best lead I've got in finding my daughter. Because yeah. it is quite a bizarre story. So it if you believe it, I'll, I'll say give me a sanity roll, but if you don't believe it, you don't. Um, I don't think I believe it yet, but I believe enough of it to know that my daughter might have been taken yeah, by Yeah, I think people. at this moment we're just looking for leads. I think I believe in the corruption, but I don't necessarily believe in... He, he was also quite, life. like, sort of. panicked and didn't explain it very well. Yeah, uh, but I so feel it, like it's it's a I bit of a it's a bit of a messy story that he had. Yeah, he's not very mm. smart, so he wouldn't have he wouldn't have known the ins and outs. So. I I feel like my daughter's life could be in danger mm. based on the urgency of this man, and I believe that they may have my daughter. That is my belief. Yeah, I think I'm the same. Like I would say that uh, this person, Rich, Richie, was never a good. He's never a good student um that's why i kind of remember his name um but it's reggie reggie yeah exactly uh but i think he probably it's probably worth looking into that's why mm -hmm. i say at this point we have no other leads mm -hmm. apart from some tire tracks that lead to we don't know where and a black car that might have driven past an estate at 2 a.m um this is the only lead we've got let's investigate it mm -hmm. so what are you gonna do now we're going to drive on over to Prospect, Prospect Estate. Yep. Are you going to stop back at the Hooverville or the diner first? No. No. I, uh, as long as we've got enough gas Wait, together. yeah, actually, ooh, do we, is it? Well, the diner lady, she wanted a car back before afternoon. Before the afternoon. Have we got and time to get it back I before she knows it's missing? Be it's probably about lunchtime at the moment. Yeah. Okay. All right, yeah, all right, well, let's, let's pop on over. Just hope she doesn't see us driving past. So you're gonna go straight to the house? Yep. To the house. Is the house past the diner? I've got yeah. I've got my belongings on me, right? I would never part with my weapon. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, in this state you definitely would have brought your weapon. Yeah. Um So you both know where Prospect House is. I think I think uh Margo, you've even been there before back in your heyday. Um it, it's quite the it was quite it was one of the nicest country houses in the in the area. Um and Professor Hawks used to host all sorts of um, dinners and What's events. it like there now? Oh, Is it pretty he'll tell us. thing? He'll oh. tell us, I'm sure. <laughs> well, as you, well, as you arrive, you, you find that the the whole outer fen wall and fence is overgrown with uh, weeds and vines, and the the, the iron gates they're quite they you know they're, it's a very fancy design, but it's all old and rusted. Um, but as you look at the, the, the lock in the chain on the gate, you realise that the lock itself doesn't look rusted. Mm. Okay, so it looks like they've laid off the ground stuff. Uh, fair enough. Uh, but the security's still up to date. Yes, it's, 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 it doesn't look as different as I thought it would. I, mm. You know, I used to come here for some high society balls back in the day. Yes. Um... Okay, uh, so since we've both been here, are we aware of any um, other entrances apart from the gate that's in the front gate that's locked? It's, it's got a wall around the whole perimeter. Okay. Um, hmm. the, the wall could maybe be climbed, or you can try breaking through the gate, pretty much. Those are your only, only two real options. Mm, okay. Um, well, uh, how's your climbing? Do you think you could scale this wall? You only have twenty percent climb. Mm, same. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Well, they're, about, they're, about they're about ten feet tall. The stone walls. Oh, this is quite high. You could give me a boost. I could give you a boost, but then how do I get up? I can find something to throw over. Mm. Actually, you did say these vines are quite overgrown. Are we able to climb the vines? You probably maybe. We got only one way to find out. All right, I'm gonna try and climb over. I think it's the stealthiest option. I think trying to like drive through and break the lock is probably too loud and it would attract suspicion. Mm. Um, so I'm going to try and climb over. My climb is only 20, so this could go horribly wrong. Uh, that is a one. That is a critical. One. That is a critical success. You you happen to find the best part of the wall, and you, oh. you, it, you, it's like you've been at a rock climbing gym all your life. You. <laughs> You, you scramble up and over that wall, and you. Oh, I never knew. You're on the top of the wall, and looking down from the wall, you can see that the whole grounds are overgrown with wet, with long grass, weeds, 
Um, the, the gravel paths are still visible, yeah. and but the you know the the weeds are sort of overgrowing into them. So you can see where the paths run, but this place looks like this place hasn't been used in years. Carl, let me throw you your stick. Oh, uh, and yeah, you throw my stick. I'm gonna climb over too. Okay. Uh, are you going to help her up? Or you, yeah, I'll help she... her up. Yeah, I'll help her up. All right, so climb roll, but you get a bonus, which means you can roll it twice, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, you might want to re-roll that. That's <laughs> 83. That's an 83. Uh, yeah, you just roll the, the 10 dice. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Let's roll it. That's a three. Three. Yeah. A three? Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, yeah, you don't, you, you don't even need Carl's help. You climb her up. We're so good at climbing. <laughs> Yes, Carl, I don't need your help. Oh, well, that's all good then. Um, um, so you're both sort of sitting on the top of the wall looking down at a very overgrown house. Yep. All right, well, I guess we... Should we go inside? Give me a spot hidden while you're up there. Yeah, sure. Uh, spot hidden is 45, uh, 62. Mine's 50. Here you go. Crack. 81. <laughs> um... Ooh, is it worth pushing? Is it worth pushing? I can't tell you that. I'm currently <laughs> on top of a I'm on top of a wall, so I feel like if I go to push, I might fall off the wall. So mm. maybe uh uh ooh, is it worth it? No, I don't, I don't think I will. I think we'll let it fail. Okay. Yeah. All right. What are you going to do from here? Uh, I'm going to I'm going to climb down uh, onto the inside of the estate. We're going to sneak in. Should All we right. just wander up to the front door? Or should we go around the to well, see if the locked, cellar's open? So I think we, uh, well, the, the, the front gate ooh. was locked, but is the front door? At locked? this point, I will sort of describe and give you a map. So it's quite yeah. a large house with a couple of uh, outbuildings to one side. Mm-hmm. Or as I said before, all the paths are still visible, but are very overgrown. Uh, so all the grounds are, you know, waist deep, chest deep grass at least, um, and you can see and hear some movement amongst the grass, but you know it's overrun, so there's bound to be wildlife. Um, I'll give you a map of the place, um, and then you can decide what you want to do. Now this ha- this one has like labels for what each room is. Obviously, you don't know it looking from the outside, but you have been there before, so it will sort of like count it. Uh, well, Margot's been there before, at least. I mean, I would assume as a as associate of Mister Hawks, he would have invited me to his house at least once. I will give you this map, and then as oh, and then as I give it to you, I'll get you to do an uh, intelligence roll. Sure. It was a long time ago. Mm, mm. Yes, it was a little while ago, yeah. I don't know, he maybe he's done some decorating on it. There we go. Alright. So, we've got... Okay, so it looks like there's a front door there, and then there's a few back doors we could maybe try. Um, mm. There's oh, also there's all sorts of... a generator shed, a generator workshop. Shed. So yeah, give me that intelligence roll. Sure. Uh, intelligence roll. My intelligence is seventy. Uh, that is seventy. Uh, it's just a success, a normal success. As far as you know, the last time that you're here, those outbuildings didn't exist. Oh, so those outbuildings are new. I can tell you because I've been here before, and they were not here last time I was here. Intriguing. I wouldn't have noticed. I didn't spend time on the grounds. Hmm. Uh, Where, you, you were in the ballroom. <laughs> I was in the ballroom, and that's all that mattered to me. Yeah, well, it was sense. dark as well. I, I did not look at the ground. Makes sense. Things like machines probably don't interest you anyway, no, right? they no, don't. Of course not. Um, well, uh, perhaps we start there? You want to go? Home? Yeah, but why not? Let's have a look at these new buildings that yes. you're talking about. I mean, I do know a little bit about physics. I might be able to see if that maybe... Maybe uh, Ralph's story had any sense. I know his name's not Red Ralph, but I'm just—I don't remember him. Maybe Ralph's story might make sense. Uh, a- a- Ashton Hawks. Oh no, I meant. Oh, he's oh, talking about Reggie. Oh, Reggie. Reggie. Oh, yeah. yeah, Reggie. Okay. Um, yeah. So as you're walking through the the the, the paths, um, you notice that the the sort of grass that's sort of um, overgrown over them that you're walking through, that the they're covered in like a slimy, sticky secretion. 
And occasionally you see like a slug sliver across the path or up a plant. Darling, be careful. The ground doesn't look very um, mm. dry. It looks a bit slippery. Mm. Uh, is, is this, is that slime? Ooh, it would be very bad for your hula hoop. And then, and then from a distance, uh, more amongst the trees, you hear a help, help. Ooh. Is that a listen roll? I think we heard no, you it. just hear <laughs> it. Heard it. <laughs> you heard it. Do we know where it's coming from? Yeah, like halfway along the path towards those outbuildings, mm-hmm. um, just just off the path. Is someone there? Oh, should we go? Should we go look? Well, obviously someone needs help. Oh, well, let's go help them. Mind you, we shouldn't be here, so let's be a bit quiet about it. Yeah, of course. You, you, if you if you see if you follow the help, you do find a man, mm-hmm. um, but he is collapsed against a tree, oh. and. He's still alive, but he looks like a husk of a human. Oh, my goodness. Um, his skin is completely disheveled. Is this someone we might recognize? He's, from he's covered in, like, bulging, writhing flesh. Um, and you can, every now and then, you can see, like, a leech-like parasite come out of a wound and go into another one. This... One, even comes out, one even comes out of his eyeball and slithers up his nose. This guy is um, disgusting. This guy is, like... He looks like completely infested with parasites of some sort. It's disgusting. Give me a sanity roll. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, uh, during sorry. this, uh, do is there any recognizable features? Ninety-five. Is he someone, is he someone from like uh, Hooverville that we might recognize? Uh, no, you you haven't rec- You don't recognize okay. him. Oh, that's a two. I am fine. <laughs> You're you're steadfast in front of your daughter. You don't care. Uh, Alex on the other hand. Oh, well, no, no. what's your name? Carl on the other hand. Carl, yeah. Carl on the other hand loses well. two sanity. Okay. All right. Okay. This Close this this goes along with what else? The the other thing you've seen gross today. Oh yeah. Um, uh, oh, oh, oh. Carl, honestly, man up. We've got a job to roll, do. Run a roll of constitution and see if I vomit. Uh. Whoop. That's a ninety. I'm gonna. Oh, that's just disgusting. Oh, seriously, Carl, oh, man oh. up. We've got things to do. Oh, and then um, the man's just lying there, almost dead, just saying, "Help." Honestly, help I don't. Me. I don't oh. think we can do anything for this this thing. I don't even know. It's, is it a? Is it human? I don't. It is. I just. I think it should be. <sighs> Sir, can you can you hear and understand us? Oh. Do you? Help. Do you know? Can you? Oh, I don't. I don't think he knows we're here, honey. And at that moment, another parasite comes out of his other eyeball. Oh goodness. Oh Jesus. Okay, I think. I think we should walk away. Uh, we should walk away. Okay, I think that's I a good idea. I don't think you're going to cope looking at this. Oh. I don't think there's anything we can do. What to help is this? This man is. This man doesn't need a doctor. So. In fact, in fact, you did fail your sanity roll. So maybe you even. Not run away, but you're like, yep, I've had enough. Yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, let's just leave him. Okay, uh, okay. It didn't happen. Oh, no. Let's. Oh, oh bye. Yes. Good okay. luck with your leeches. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh the poor so, guy. Oh. All right, we move, we're moving on. Okay, something seriously messed up is happening here. Oh, I agree. Oh, um, that man has died. Have, 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 does this man remind you of anything you've seen? Mm, I don't think so. No, I've never seen this man before. No, but like. The symptoms, the illness. Does that oh. remind you of anything did, you might? Did it look anything like the husband? I uh, saw like his skin falling off. Did it look similar to that? Uh, the, the, the the state of his skin looked like that, but okay. uh, the, these leeches and the parasites. That, that's, that's something new. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's, I mean, he did look like um, he did look like Agatha's husband. Yeah. Really. He did a little bit. It was the same thing. I was able to hold it down last time, but the leech is so they threw me over the top. I'll tell you that much. Oh, that's, it's awful. Oh, goodness me. This wouldn't happen in Germany, that's for sure. Okay. They keep the streets much cleaner in, in Frankfurt. Let me tell you that. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, we'll keep moving towards Let's go the, towards these workshops. Yeah, maybe. we'll keep moving towards the workshops. Maybe there's All right. So you find two wooden sheds next to uh, the stone workshop. Yep. Uh, each contains uh, some diesel generators, um, but they're not on at the moment. Uh, yeah. 
and the 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 larger building the workshop itself uh its lights are all off um and you probably can see the cables between the generators and the workshop okay um well it looks like if we want to know what the hell's going on in there we need to turn these generators on maybe um can i use like a physics role or like a opera heavy machinery role to figure out what this might be like at least hypothesize what it could be what what could be yeah, uh, the machine, like the oh, in workshop. the workshop. workshop. Yeah, oh, we don't know. We, it's locked, isn't it? We can't see. In. Uh, we no, know it's the not light locked. Drops. It's just the light drops, so it's very dark. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess I'll. I have another torch. I guess I'll turn the lights on. Yep, with the generator. You need yeah, the generator. The, the lights will only work if the generators are running. The last time you guys were here, this place wasn't fitted yeah. with electricity. Oh, okay. So. Oh, so this this is the whole thing. Electricity is all new. All right. Um, I guess with the doors open, like, do I have an idea of what this is? Like, what that looks that looks like some equipment, but and some fancy tech, but it's hard to tell in the dark. Oh, in the dark. All right. Um, I mean, I don't. Carl, want to... go turn the generators on. See if we can see what this is. Oh, okay. We'll just give it a go. Eh. Uh, so the generator room. I don't know how they. Oh, ge- okay. Work, so the generator okay. sheds in like the two separate ones. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'll go over there and turn the generator on. Uh, yeah, they work. And oh. they, they turn on, and they provide the some bar. lighting. Okay. On the bar. Uh, and I'll pull back over. Um, to number two, and the lights are the lights on now. Yeah, the lights are on, and you can see that there's um, in those sheds. Uh, there's some extra lanterns and lamps, uh, rusty garden gardening tools, and some large uh, drums of diesel, probably to keep the generators running. Um, and then in the workshop itself, um, uh, there are no windows, and uh, oh no, I was wrong. The, the the door of the workshop is locked. A big, heavy black iron door with a bell oh. lock. Oh no, it's locked. Um, are there windows? No windows. So forget okay. I told you that there's some fancy tech in there. Right. Again, how, do, how do we know that the lights were off? Oh. Well, I'm going back on this bit. Mm. All right, sure. So it's um, locked. Can, can the, is it locked digi- like not digitally because that's not really a thing, but like is it locked via some kind of mechanism that would Big old padlock. Up? Big old padlock. Oh, padlock. That's quite. Mm, we don't have the, the capacity to open a big padlock. Uh I, I mean, my locksmithing is one. <laughs> Could give it a crack. I roll, I've rolled a one before. What's the chances of rolling another one? Oh, one you could try one. smashing it off. Could try smashing it off. I mean, I am a legend, so I'm going to roll a one right now for you. Uh, that's a, oh, that is a seven. <laughs> oh, I could spend six luck. Are you willing to spend six luck? To get in without raising the alarm. Maybe because when we were trying at this point, we're trying to be quiet, even though I've just vomited in the yard. He did say we could break the lock. I don't think that would make too much noise, right? I'll break a bit. How big's the lock? Does it look smashable? Yeah, it's smashable. Hmm. I've got fifty strength. You've got fifty strength. It'll make yeah. noise. It'll make noise, but it's smashable. It'll make noise though. Uh, I'm gonna spend. Oh, I feel like I should spend the lock. You do, you I don't know. know if it's worth it though. Oh, it's in, it, oh, but I want to know what's inside there. I feel like it's. I feel like it's important because it wasn't there originally. Mm. Um, so it's obviously they've added it on, and we don't know why. Carl, I know you're a broken human, but can you break this lock? Uh, I can. I will. I'm going to spend the six luck. I'm going to go down to fourteen luck. To, Alrighty. Uh, to Big call. Pick the and lock. you find nothing. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> Rude. All right, so you smash the lock off. It makes a big, heavy metal no, noise. No, no, I, I'm using my lock picking. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, then, yeah, you quietly get a little, I don't know, hairpin, yeah. paper clip. I don't know what you've got. I, I, have, I saw this once in a book. Maybe I have a work. hairpin, if oh. that helps. Yeah, I saw this once in a book. Maybe it'll work. And, and then... you magically get it working. First oh, time. I'm so good. <laughs> yeah. I should be uh, James Bond. Carl, you have one lucky human um so because you turn the generators on the the lights are on yeah um and the walls are completely covered in electrical panels cables switches um there's there's tables and desks of papers tools 
like books. Um, the things you mainly notice is in the center of the room there is a like an iron wrought uh, circle inlaid in the stone in the floor, um, and along the workbenches there's like thick leather aprons, giant uh, like heavy gauntlets. Um, big metal tools and forceps, mm. welding marks, all that sort of thing. Okay. Um, curiously, there's a box of wax earplugs um, and half a dozen round metal canisters that have, like, glass outsides. Right. Okay. And on on uh, and just to continue, and on, on, on the far back wall, there is a six-foot-tall glass tank. A six foot tall glass uh, that tank. looks like a tank that's able to fit a human in it. Oh, it does. It's, it's, just, it's, it's filled with a very, very murky liquid at the moment. Oh, I don't know what that is. That's oops. I don't. Um, have I have I seen this set up before in any of my physics books? Uh, give me give me a physics roll. My physics is seventy. Uh, should be easy to do the lock again. Um, oh my god. Okay, ninety one. I. I'm gonna push it. Oh. Um, so I like to live dangerously. Yeah. Uh, and I don't have enough luck to just waste it. Um, I'm going to push it by, I guess, going up to the, um, the, like, the big canister and sort of, like, looking around. The big mur- canister with all the murky liquid in it and just seeing if there's, like, or, oh, actually, no. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to the to the table with the papers and see if I can like find anything that'll help. And I roll the thirty-eight. I I succeed. That is a just a regular success. So you've never seen this sort of setup before, but from taking a little bit of time to just peruse the papers and have a look at the equipment, um, if you spent some time studying it, you might be able to work out how it works. But as far as you can tell, it looks like it's operational. It doesn't look damaged or anything. Yeah. But you don't really know what it does. Mm. Ooh. I've never... I, I've... I mean, if I could spend some time on this, I might be able to figure out um, how this contraption works, but I don't really know what it does, unfortunately. All I know is my daughter's not here. Can you see any evidence of her? Because I just want to find where she is. All right. Uh, can I... Do a spot in to see if there's any. Uh, there's no, there's no people in the room. No people in the room. Um, but your eye does keep coming back to this glass tank. Is there anything uh, in it? Well, you can walk up and have a look if you would like. I'm going to look at the papers. It's up to you. you I'm going to. While you're looking at the papers, I'm going to walk over to the glass thingy and look in it. Well, it's very, very murky water, but if you put your face right up towards the glass... <laughs> Which I'm going see, to do, yep. You can see if you shape smoothing within. There's something in here. I I feel if like... You, if you bring up a, a lamp or a light to it, you might be able to see it. Wipe the glass and... Yeah, there's a bit of condensation that you might be able to wipe away. Maybe I can... Is there any candles in here? Can I? Can oh, I... there's a lamp over there. You want to grab? I'm going to grab that lamp and see if there's anything I can see. There's something in here. Do I have to roll? No, you can just. You 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 seeing the shapes moving around, and then suddenly, like, uh, probably the size of a a small cactus, but it's like a it's like a worm with, you know, teeth at the front cactus. of the worm. You know, you know, like those things from June you know, like oh. sandworms oh, yeah. one, one of them like comes out and like attaches itself to the side of the tank Jesus Christ. and it looks like it's trying to like at, like suction me suction you like a and then you can see more of them slowly coming around and more of them attach themselves to the oh side of the tank but there is some but there is something bigger floating floating behind them parasites and and something else like can't quite make it out hmm Carl, come have a look. Uh, Carl's going to take one look at the the leeches, the big worms. Go, ah, no, I'm good here, thank you. I'm just going to look at the papers. You let me know if you see anything. Weak, weak man. <laughs> uh, give me a sandy roll for seeing these, because they don't look they don't look like anything you've ever seen before. 
It's a a 98. That's a fumble. Um, (laughs) hmm. Okay, that's a fumble, is it? It's a fumble. A little bit. Alright. They they, they do only look like worms, but big and scary, so you can use three sanity. They are small cactus sized. (laughs) But because you fumbled, the, 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 the slightly larger shape behind it does also move through. And it, see, it resembles like an inside-out monkey, but what the, the head of, like the head is just one huge mouth filled with teeth and writhing tentacles, oh. and it, it looks like the, the like a monkey but without skin. In that way. So oh. give me another sound of your old this extra. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> uh, eighty-two. Eighty-two. That's a fail. Failed that one too. Fail. I don't like what lose, I'm seeing. Lose, this... lose one more sanity. Oh my goodness. This is this is probably the most horrific thing I've seen, and I was the one who found Carl's body. Honestly. Oh, not Carl's body. Uh, Charles. Charles's body. Oh. So maybe uh, you take a big old jump back from this tank out of fear. Uh, I jump back. I knock things over behind me. Things, there's, there's stuff clattering around because I... Oh, goodness. I, I might even knock the papers off the desk that Carl was reading because I'm so shocked. Are you okay? Are you okay? I am. I don't. I don't. Weak in the head. That there's some kind of inside-out monkey in there, yeah. and I'm. I. I don't know how else to explain it, but that's what it looks like. It's full of teeth and and there's worms and and I can't. I can't. Oh. I can't. Carl, I can't. We need to get out of this room. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take one look at the tank out of morbid curiosity. Do I see any? Do I see any yeah, creatures? Yeah, you, you see all these worms and creatures. Give me a sanity roll. Oh, no! <laughs> Why'd you do that, Carl? That was bad. Oh, I mean, it's like you see a car crash. <laughs> it's when you go to the men's bathroom and you, you say, oh, no, it's not supposed to be that colour. Go and have a look. Um, oh, no, that is a 20. Oh, shut sure, that's a 20. Uh, yeah, I, I succeed. You what succeed? All right. Yeah. Uh, that, that you still lose one because these are very yeah. otherworldly creatures. Yeah. Oh, that, I've never seen that before. That's that is definitely not of this planet. It's very un, very unusual. Come Sounds on. like this. I wish you we should, biology. Not. We should leave. We should quickly leave. We should get out of here. Thank God. Uh, and as you turn around, you see a little boy standing in the doorway. Oh, is it Billy? It's Billy. <gasps> Billy! Oh my goodness! Are you okay? We've been so worried about you. You sound so cheerful, Margot. <laughs> this is honestly the best news I've had all day because I, I've all I've been getting is is horrific things, and and finally there's there's one inch closer to seeing someone they, I know. They took us in the night, Esther. She's still down there. I down where, save. honey? Down I, I, where? I, I I couldn't save. I couldn't save. She's still down there. Okay, okay, okay. Um, down where? Where? Where is Esther? In, in, in the oh. cellar. In the cellar. They the they cellar. tried to lock oh. me down too, but the, 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 then. How did you get out, Billy? Well, well, something happened, and 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 everyone ran away. But but Esther, she was already locked in the cellar, so. That's okay. That's okay. We we will help her. Um, Billy. They, they put they put a worm in my stomach. A worm in your oh. stomach. Oh no! That is not good. Um, we should probably take him to the hospital. Well, I mean, yeah, uh, I kind of want to go find my daughter before the yes, this. Yes, this this kid looks exhausted. He's about to like collapse. Okay. Um, can I use first aid to try and make him vomit so he can vomit up this slug thing? Uh, well, it's an idea. <laughs> it's an idea. I, I've got I've got fifty first aid, so I'm gonna give it a go. Um, it's no vet nurse, but we'll see how we go. Oh, oh. sorry. <laughs> it's it's that's a, a, it's a, a ninety-nine. It's a ninety-nine. It's a ninety-nine. Uh, um, it's a fumble though. It's a big fumble. It's so, not a fumble. It's a fail. Oh, is it? Yeah, no, you need a hundred to fumble. Oh, okay. Well, I definitely fail. Is your first aid above fifty? It's it is fifty. It is fifty. Oh, okay. All right. Um, yeah. So you try and suggest how are you going to get him to throw up? Well, I was gonna just stick some fingers down his throat and do some Heimlich maneuver stuff. Well, you do that, and he and he bites down on your fingers and, oh. and throws up all over you. I'm gonna get you to lose one health. Oh, idiot! Honestly, the things you do to try and help children. And you're in a lot of pain now because of those fingers. Is it this? Yeah, that one hit points it. Yeah, so you can't lose one. Yeah. And it, it, this kid basically just like collapses. 
on. Are you okay? Um, oh, how's your finger? Well, can you do some first aid and give me some, some yeah, I'm gonna bandaging try and first on this aid on... Is there any kind of bandaging material around? Oh, yeah. Find anything. I'm gonna just maybe rip some rag off your off your clothing. Yeah, I might do that. Rip some rag on my clothes. First it's aid is little... forty. Lighter 23, just... that's a success. Yeah. Alright, you get your health point back. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Fix your finger. Hold still. This might sting a bit. Um, and as you as you look down at Billy's now sort of unconscious uh, body, you see that he's, his shirt sort of half slipped up and his stomach looks very strange. Um, oh. What is going on? It's like that some sort of. It's not just like straight flesh, it's like. It's writhing. It, There's something look, in that. It, it looks like a pouch in a way. I think oh. that worm was alive, the one they put in. Oh my goodness, that is that is highly disturbing. Um, we need to help. We need to go to your daughter. I honestly just want to leave this little rat bag alone. He, he are just any bit... of you game to touch this guy? I'm body? not going to touch him. Oh no, <laughs> I, I just you seen me how I did with the other guy. He's not. The parasites, they're disgusting. Oh. I'm, you know, honestly. This kid just bit my finger. I wanted to help him before, but I'm just going to walk away and try and find my daughter. He's a little bit of a little shit. It's a chaser. Okay, um... (laughs) So, uh, I think think we need to find your daughter. Yes, and, you know, if we get out, we can tell Doc about where Billy is and send help. But at the moment... Okay, Billy, you... Okay, uh... Billy, you just stay there conscious, honey. We'll be back. Should we lock the door lock him in? We should Okay, yeah. we're locking in. <laughs> and you lock picked before, so we can just shut that lock. It's not destroyed. That's right, yeah. Cool, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Oh, but how do wait? How do we get to I don't know if I can unpick the lock. That's fine, that's fine. Lock the fucker in. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna lock bad lock the door again? I don't yeah. know if I feel good about this. Lock stuff. the fucker in. How, okay, how about this is what we do? Here's what we do. Mm. We close it, we put the latch in, we put the lock, but we don't actually latch it. So it's still it's still closed. You won't be able to open it from the inside, but we can open it without unlocking it okay let's do that yeah that seems like the smart thing to do because we don't have a key so i'm gonna um i'm gonna close the latch i'm gonna put a lock mm. on there but i'm not actually gonna like clasp it i'm gonna leave it like in the unlocked position but in a way mm-hmm. where it can't open it from the inside can, we, can yeah, i do that okay. is that possible yeah 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 that's fine cool all right okay now that he's safe let's go find your daughter yeah okay we need to go to the cellar the cellar. Big old, okay. big old house. Which, which, which you, you've got the map. Which, where do yeah. you want to enter from? Um, probably from so like going to the left. Where is the cellar on the map? Like, oh, the, I don't know where the cellar is. You don't, you don't know. You know where the cellar oh. is, but we know, we know that the quickest way to get in is probably from where we were, which is at the top left here. So left. There's bathrooms we along the back, the along the back of the house, and then yeah. like into the um, in through the bathrooms, I guess. Yeah. Uh, that door is locked. I'm gonna try and pick it. <laughs> it's safe. It's just me, a James Bond here. I'm going to. I, I, I mean, one. Uh, I have a feeling it was a fluke before. Pick I, one lock. Um, they're all the same. Fifty-one. No, I, I can't get this one. This is. It's a different one. Okay. We, Should um, we try another door? Maybe um, go in through the conservatory. Uh, yeah, it's not a bad idea. All right, we'll try the next next door along the conservatory. Uh. Uh, the, 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 there are windows out of the conservatory, but they're all they're broken, filled with rubble, weeds. Um, there's a lot of broken glass. You can get in, but there'd be a danger to c- cutting yourself. In that yeah, okay, we don't want to do that. But what about the door? The door's locked. I'm gonna try and pick this one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, 72. No, I didn't get it. No. Um, Carl, do you think, is it worth the shooting the lock off? Or do you think that's gonna create too much tension? I think we could, we should probably maybe try one more door. There's one more door uh, going into the ballroom. Room. Yeah, the going smoking. into the ballroom. Well, there's the smoking, smoking room. room which is just... You haven't even tried the front. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're getting round to it. Yeah, we're, we're at the back. <laughs> we're getting there. Oh, you're at the back of there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, um, oh. so we're at the back. Let's go to, let's try the, um, we're going to try the ballroom. We're getting in through the gallery. And if that doesn't work, I guess you shoot it. Well, we we could try the front door. I guess we could try the front door, but I think I think time is up. Yes, the ballroom's the same as the conservatory. A lot of broken glass and smashed windows and everything. Okay. Um. Okay. So if the window's smashed already. Um. Is there like a smashed window that's like 
big enough for, a, for me to like walk through if I can clear the glass out With of the way. With his cane. Because I've got a cane, maybe I can like just sort of like... You'll need a dexterity roll to get through that yeah. cut. Okay, sure. Uh, Do it. Yeah, okay. So we, we've got to save the life of a child. And we've got Which room is this? Uh, room. This is going into the gallery. This big door, big... Oh, uh, well, the ballroom. The gallery is like the, the, the balcony above. Yeah. Oh, the balcony. Okay, yeah, the ballroom, yeah. Sure. Um, oh, it's a 30. Uh, that is a success. Alright, so you, you managed to knock enough glass out of the way that you can get through without cutting yourself. Both walk into the ballroom. The the ceiling in the ballroom has completely collapsed. Um, so while you can walk in, the, like the roof is exposed, the floor floor is covered in the rubble of the roof. Um, there are a bunch of floor to ceiling mirrors along the walls. While they're still there, that most of them have cracked. Um, but if you take a look, some like black fluid starts trickling out of the cracks in the mirrors and pulling Ooh. onto the ground. I see the professor's installed a new skylight. Um, oh, what's this black liquid set? That doesn't look right. I don't think we should be touching that, no. This doesn't look like something that I would have any expertise in. Is it, this like it, a- it looks similar to something two people in the Old West might have discovered a while ago. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't know. It's just described similar. <laughs> um, okay, um... We guess uh, we're just, are we just we stop to look at it. I, I mean, I just want to get to, and find a cellar. Can yeah, you see okay. any kind of cellar door anywhere? Hmm. Give me a spot hidden as you're walking past. Sure. Uh, spot is forty-five. That is a sixty-five. That's a fail. I'm a fifty. Yeah. Seventy-eight. You fell. No. We no we're gonna see stuff, no, are we? No, that's it's okay. We're in you, a bit you, dark and yeah, there's no you, light. You're not paying. Did you bring a lamp with you? Yeah, I still got my lamp. Yeah, yeah. All right, so you, you you work your way through the rubble and get to it. Looks like that door leads to like the main hallway, doesn't it, or the parlor? Yeah. Where okay. are you gonna go? Uh, um, I would walk past the parlor, but I'd be looking more towards. Uh, maybe the more towards cellar might be more towards the bathrooms and the um, yeah and the china closet. Was the left wing of the house? As you walk into like the main hallway area, um, this the hallway is like completely. Uh, it's intact, but it's completely water damaged. Um, there's a grand flight of stairs leading up to the second floor, um, and the, there are doors leading off to the sitting rooms and other corridors and kitchens and everything like that. Um, the carpet feels quite sticky. And when you walk across it, it squelches and slurps. Um, but there's also a strange smell in the room. And it's quite nauseating. Um, give me an intelligence roll. Okay. Intelligence is 70. Gosh, and I thought what living in Riverville uh, was pass. bad. Disgusting. Pass? Yeah. I'm an 80, so that's 24, a 24. That's a, that's, a, that's a hard success for you. Mm. Oh, okay, well, you, you both sort of look at each other while you're smelling it, and it smells meaty. Oh. Meaty? Ooh. It smells like broth first. It, it reminds me of my uh, my servant's, like, meat room when they used to, you know, cull the game for, for our grand dinners. To, mm. I, I always tried to avoid that room. It was disgusting. Mm. I would never liked the cleaning of our game, but I did enjoy eating them. That's what it reminds me of. And as you're thinking about that, you also notice that the, the hallway, it, it is November, but the hallway f- feels quite warm and humid or moist. Ooh. And every now and then a, a, a warm a warm gust of air runs through, the, in here. through the hallway. Do you feel like you need to take your jacket off? It's just very warm in here. It's, it's, very, it's cold outside, but it's warm in here. What yeah, is cool? and, and there are windows that are smashed. It, it should be very brisk I'm, I'm very curious it, mm. is it coming from upstairs or is it coming from some kind of other location that would lead us downstairs in one moment it's sort of the warm air sort of gusting from one end of the hallway and then on in other moments it's gusting towards you from the other end. Hmm. it's like all around um can I use 
physics or mathematics to determine why this might be the case. Or sure. Yeah. All right. Physics is seventy. Probably. Yeah. More of a physics one. Physics one. Uh. Oh, that's a that's a forty-one. So I succeed. It's a success. What I'll give you hard success or. Oh, do, do you want do you want a hard success to you? Uh, maybe. Okay. How far off you are hard? Hard success. I'm six six luck away. Um, I could do it. I don't think it's. Uh, nah, nah. It's still a success. No, it's, yeah. Well, I think it wants a hard success though. No. Nah. Sounds like he'd like a hard success, but I he think it would make more sense to be a hard success. Yeah. Damn. Especially considering. I'm gonna spend six luck. I'm gonna spend six more luck. <laughs> you, how much luck have you got left? We got eight luck left. Got eight. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. Yeah, it takes you a while because it's not quite a physics-related thing, but mm. you do think it is similar to breathing. Oh, does this, this house feel alive? To this you? house does feel like it's breathing. What the heck is going on? This has been the Fumbled Anthology. New episodes are released every Sunday. And for more information, please check out our website, fumbledanthology.com, or seek us out on the social media of your choice. See you next week.